Hey guys, it's Danielle and I am back with another process video. I'm going to be working with my Felicity Jane Next Stop kit and I just have to say this may be my favorite kit to date. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors and it's full of exclusive items and I, I just love it. I can't wait to use it. So I'm going to be scrapbooking these two photos of me and my husband. One was taken very early on in our marriage within the first year and this second one was taken last week when we celebrated our 13th anniversary. Now this kit is very travel themed but I'm going to be using it to document our anniversary and um, this kit works beautifully for that as well. I just love everything about it. So uh, I have my two photos printed at three by four in size and I'm using a cut apart card and then some of that floral paper that I absolutely love and this is sort of the foundation and the start of my page and then I have a, uh, a bunch of embellishments from the kit that I'll be uh, mixing in once I get my pictures stuck down which you can see that I've done that. Now I have framed my current photo the one that I took last week with a scalloped edge and I you can see that I'm using a lot of foam adhesive to pop that up just a little bit and that's just to emphasize that's where we are today that's that's you know the whole that other photo is to show where we came from but um the story is about where we are today and how grateful i am for my marriage and just how grateful i am that we chose each other and that our you know our marriage is full of love and all of those celebratory things so once i have my photos and my paper in place. I can use all the other embellishments that I sort of brought into the mix to play around. And I do, I play around with them quite a bit. I know kind of the pieces that I wanna use. So for instance, that so much happy, I definitely wanna use that. That little strip of green paper below that says hard eyes. And um, those are the things I know I wanna use. And so I have those in place, but everything else I am just, laying down if i like it i sort of keep it in place if i don't i switch it out i go back and forth on what embellishment i'm going to put on the floral paper because there's just so many good ones i love the ampersand because obviously we are a, a unit that's together we're in a marriage and so that definitely applies and i i think that i'm going to use that you can see that that's kind of what's holding there right now. And um, whenever I, I guess I'm torn I, on what I wanna do, I usually just move towards things that I know I wanna do. So I know I wanted that so much happy. I know I wanted those hard eyes. So I get those in place. And then after that, I focus on the other card. So I thought maybe what I would do is I would take some polka dot vellum from my stash and place behind that ampersand. But I'm still sort of going back and forth with it. And um, so I, again, I move on to things that I know I want. And I, this is just a strip. It came from the cut apart sheet and it has a bunch of hearts on it. And I just kind of layer that behind my current photo. And then I go back to the floral paper <laughs> and I decide that I'm going to stick with the heart theme. So in that green stripes card, there is that, that sentiment that says hard eyes and then on my photo that little strip that I have sticking out of my photo has hearts on it so I decide I'm just gonna stick with this heart theme and so I take that green heart banner and I place that on that floral paper and I love that green color it's I just love it with that pink it's just it's just perfect I love the color palette of this particular layout so much all right so behind my little heart strip of paper I stick some um, polka dot paper. Uh, a black tiny polka dot is my absolute favorite print of all time and so I loved adding a little bit of this to this layout. So after I have my layout finished and where I like it, I pull out the stamps. Now like I said in the beginning, this kit is very travel themed, very on the go theme, and so there wasn't a lot of stamps that would work. I did pull out this arrow just in case um, and it probably would have been fun to point towards that photo of me and my husband today or the, the current one, but I didn't want to chance it. I didn't want to chance having it be uh, messed up, and so I decided to just skip it all together. So then I took my whole layout over to my sewing machine, and I stitched on the, on the embellishments that were on the 3x4 cards. I love the way that looks. I had to take off my little hard eye strip, and so I'm just going to get some more adhesive on that and tape that down, and it looks great. I love it. So now 
kind of fast forward, I, I wrote my journaling or typed my journaling for this later on in the evening after I put my daughter to bed. So the lighting is pretty horrible, but um, I just wanted to show you what that looked like. So I originally was going to put my journaling on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, but there, I just didn't have enough journaling. And at one point it felt very forced. And so I cut down a four by 11 sheet of paper is what I ended up using I think and I like the way that looked. Now I decided to mimic the scallop edge around my photo and cut another one for the edge of my journaling and I will just cut down a page protector to fit this size and then sew up the edge so that the, this insert fits snugly into the page protector and then you can see there that I have another strip of uh, another word sentiment and at the top of that it says my happy place which is goes perfectly with my journaling. I didn't plan that, but it, it goes super great with my journaling. And then I call this layout done. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching, and I would encourage you to head on over to felicityjane.com for more information about these kits, plus a ton of inspiration from the other members of the creative team. All right, bye-bye, guys.